we went live and I lost my phone. Okay, well, we're going to have to deal with me being slightly useless just because I am. Uh, bear with me one second. Just gotta, gotta go find that. Check audio levels. <laughs> there we best on that angle. Super, um, super gross, but that's fine. We don't judge here, we have fun. Okay. Honestly, checking audio is a nightmare. Okay. Right to who then? So how is my Angle looking. Are we looking better? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're looking, looking better. Everything's recording, everything's streaming, we're up, we're in, we're on, and we're playing. So now comes a point where I have forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing. Brawny, who I believe we named Fred, if I remember correctly. Fred. So, we got Fred. Got some items. Got some stuff growing for food. We got Alan. So we can get rid of that one. We saw Marguerite. Welcome aboard, Didn't scan the exterior grow bed angry about that for me. Yep, found that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah, because where the hell am I supposed to get a parallel processor unit from? I haven't even, like, figured out that one yet. I do not need any nuclear anythings, actually. Uh, what I do want is this. Which I believe I make over here. Ruby and armor glass and synthetic fibers. Okay, Ruby not doing terribly with. Perfectly with actually. I forgot what it was already. And armor glass and synthetic fibers. Got it. Enameled glass. Could we do that one? Glass, lead, and diamond. 
a glass lead diamond. I, I could, I can make glass lead diamond. Right, let's go make some enamel glass just so we have it ready. There we go. I was like, I know I left a pot around here somewhere. Right, so we're going to make a quick bit of enameled glass just to help. Great. Not seeing you anything. Oh, crap, yeah. So, I have what I need except synthetic fibers, and unfortunately, I just can't make those yet. Just got nothing. Ah, oh, they only give food and heat. <laughs> I can build the water filtration unit though. Go into steel again, synthetic fibers. How are we seriously not aware of how to make that yet? Fine. Uh, water filtration machine, aerogel, copper wire, and titanium. Titanium, yes. Clear aerogel, just like a ruby. If I remember correctly, I got my gel sack and then got rid. So I think, unfortunately, I need to go back to Marguerite's base. Oh. My health do be low, so. Reparations time. the wrong word. Repair time. Repair time. Still prefer how the energy works on the Prawn Suit in the original game. Which I will still be going back to play. hearing things of an unpleasant nature. But I made it to where I need to be. So I do believe that I need to be just going down here. Yes. I need you to go any deeper. Okay, so this is not the way I came last time because I definitely didn't find that. But I do feel like I definitely need to be somewhere around here. 
really should have left myself a beacon or something. You know? Yeah, it's sometimes okay that you don't. You don't mind, it's an operative. Look at it. This is definitely not safe safe, but safe to think we would get right now. Okay, you don't seem to have anything of use, that's fine. How do I get into this thing? Is it down? Yeah, maybe. No, not around there. Okay. Oop, this panel's a bit damaged here. Looks promising. Perfection. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Down fragment. I already got it. Got it, but it's counting. These are all cut on it. It's a normal open. What was that? Chinese potato? Nice. Although I do remember that one says cut, and I do think I have a laser cutter on me. On me or no? Oh, I haven't got one yet. Hold on. Shit, I did have the thing. I never got rid of it. Fuck, I forgot. I stocked up on stuff. Balls. Don't empty this. Fucking moron, and now I've got so much less carry space. Fuck balls, I am dumb. Oh well, we can be stupid and still make use of this time. I don't think I need to scan Metal Salvage, it's not going to help at all, but oh well. We do be scanning uh, and swimming. Ooh, hello, let's grab this. I'm really surprised that you've got PDAs that are still working down here when this whole thing is like a fucking mess. Gotta head back because I've already forgotten how to get out of here. It really does not last, does it? I mean, you're this deep. Go through there, let's head straight up. I'd be really good if I could figure out a way to bring a suit through and down here. This is completely below, isn't it? Okay. This must just be another route in. Cool, and I've already forgotten the way back. That is dope. I am so gonna die. Ah. 
Oh my god, I'm so dead. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh huh, yep. I know. But unfortunately, I forgot the way I was going and now I'm about to die. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen mm -hmm, remaining. Mm -hmm. No, nope, still aware. Still very, very aware. Oxygen. Yeah, okay, I made it. Don't fucking. God damn, it's so scary. Okay, is there any other way I can get, like, in there with this thing? It's such a pretty biome. But not down there. So that's not going to get me in. A little wander around. Do I see if there's a way I can get like maybe like under or? There are spaces under, but it seems to be swimmable only, which I am not ready for that amount of swimming at this depth. It's just not going to work. So that scratch shark doesn't. Bother coming to attack me? He might do, to be honest, because I am not small and not quiet. Alright, so that was able to get me in this part. Whether I can get out again is another fucking matter. But I was able to get in here this time. So. As a win, got myself some copper wire and have a look over this way. Cool. That's a room up there. Okay, I'm going to go into that room in a moment. I'm just going to head back. God, this is where the sea glide is like the most useful item. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because I would be able to, I'd have no problem doing this if I had the sea glide. Unfortunately, without it, I really am stuck in a bit of a pickle. Mercury 2, Yasmin. I hope everything went well for you, Yasmin. Nothing bad happened. Let's see what's up here. Couple more chests. With some actual decent loot in as well, like not just a shitty shit chest, a chest with a thing in. It's pretty good. Uh are you a yeah, cut open. Okay. So Definitely going to return here, but we'll. There's no point in coming without a uh, laser cutter. Which can't do enough. And I was able to break free. Nice. So I was, I was worried I would literally just got myself trapped in there, so I'm very happy I didn't.
to you. Alright. So, we got some good exploring done for that. It's not what I came for. Glad I found it though. But I do need to figure out where the fuck... Well, actually, it's not even Marguerite's base I need, is it? It's... floaty base that's inside the big things. Fight me, I dare you. Apparently not hungry. You'll receive no issues from me with that one. You ain't hungry? Hi, Code. Ooh, what's in you? What is in you? Ah, oh, hospital upgrade. I can't use that. I'm not allowed to choose a sea truck. Alright, more exploring. I need to figure out where the ever-loving hell that thing has gone. Ooh, what are you? Oh, go away, please. You can't, if you steal stuff from me, I'll get sad. Get away from me. Unless you were going to come give me that. If you were going to come bring me that quartz, I'll take it. Your boy's going to take free quartz any day of the week. Okay, I need to find the exterior grow bed. Where was... God, where was that? And where am I is a better question. I just realised I've been exploring and I have no idea where the hell I am. Well, might as well carry on going down and hoping for the best. Uh, everything except a prawn suit code is what's banned. I say banned, that's not really right, but basically I want to beat the entirety of Below Zero with just this prawn suit. So no sea glide, no sea truck. I can use uh, scanners and stuff like that, but no, no other vehicles. So it's a... Uh, Single vehicle only, just the prawn suit. And that's it. Just to see if I can. I've already beaten this game a couple of times, but you know, this is this is fun. Okay, so I'm at Marguerite's base. Yeah, movement items, yeah. Basically, just this is my only way of getting around. Which, while not necessarily difficult in terms of a challenge, it makes exploration difficult. Because I'm slow and clunky, I fall down a lot, and without the sea, um, with that sea glide, it actually makes it really hard to explore. You know, locations. I couldn't go to the first architect's area until I actually found this whole. What do you call it that I'm in? So it was, it was. Oh, hello. Hi. So, run away. I need you to actually go away because I think I need to scan this. So, go. Get. Oh, come on. Thank you. on out go on get no go the other way please I'm trying to scan uh, I'll keep my eye on you okay. oh crap I got that one yeah you can stay over there well, hey, with, with 
me already having that. At least I got some titanium. Always useful. Uh, no, I already got you. God, I forget how confusing this is. was the last known coordinates. I know I need to be somewhere around here. But it's above the area. But where? But where? God, I really need to start using beacons more in this game. I do this every single time. It's not bad when I'm just playing by myself, but I'm streaming this to the internet and I'll look like an absolute idiot, so I really need to do better. Let's try up there. Ah, oh, fuck. Goddamn squid shark, just so annoying. You, you are a giant floating rock. Why am I having this much trouble? Come on. This looks large and slightly ominous. Right, let's try and go up here. Come on, I need to get on somewhere to land. Oh, just, okay. Oh, you shit me up, giant whale. Glow whale, I can't believe you forgot your name. Okay, okay this is this is big, this is big. Maybe this is where I need to be. Come on. Uh, currently searching for the... Uh, was it a mega base? The big base in a big rock. I went there last stream and I completely forgot to get the exterior grow bed. And I need it to grow stuff, and I can't find it again. And now I'm too high. Where is this thing? There's, oh. Hi. They're cute, I like them. Okay, it's definitely somewhere around, is it in here? Maybe? I don't think it's in there. Can I get... I don't think it's in here either. Nope. nope. What about... Nope, this is, this is way too small. There's a bigger one somewhere. So it's definitely not in there. Let's go this way. Am I too high? I'm only 94 meters up. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm too high. I need to be lower. Oh, this looks big. Deep fluid intake. Oh god, I'm dehydrate to death. Of course I am. Vital signs stabilizing. Mm, no, that'll do. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna eat you until I have to, because you'll dehydrate me. Alright, I'm gonna spend a couple more minutes looking for this thing, and if I don't find it, I'll head back and get some water and stuff. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I think I've gone to... Yep, leave me alone. Okay, this looks big and promising. Here we go, there we go. Okay, are you in here? Oh? I think eh, I found it. Thank god, that took way too long. Okay. Yes, please scan all things sometimes. I worry myself. Uh, I'm also going to pick up you guys, because I do think 
You give me water. It's a little bit, but it'll do. Sure, why not? I'll scan this hole in here. And I'm just going to grab a couple more of you. And then back to base for. Oh, inventory full. Right. Head back home, do a bit of planting. Well, for the board, Captain. Let's go out the top, I think. I can't wait to get the grapple arm. This is so slow. Hi. God, I love the glow whales. They're great. Uh, okay. Gonna leapfrog back to base. Hello. Alright, that had that just wasted energy, but that was fun. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I got the exterior grow bed, which was the main mission for all this last 20 minutes. Now it's get home without being eaten alive. Easier said than done in this area. Uh, and then Oh god, I hate this bit so much. Uh, then to figure out how to make a parallel processing unit. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. So uh, leave me alone, please. I'm busy. Thank you. The grapple line will make everything way easier. I'm trying to do my best to not Google where everything is, because I've only played through this maybe twice, so I don't know the locations of everything yet. And I can't for the life of me remember where the grapple arm is. I found one of them in uh, the Mercury rocket. Mercury, no, Mercury 2. Uh, I found one of them in there, which was great. But I haven't figured out where the rest of the grapple arms are. Leave me alone. Once I do, life's going to be much easier, and I'm very excited for that. But for now, we are frog hopping everywhere and hoping for the best. Just try to remember where it is. I mean, I can't go too deep yet, because I can only go 400 meters. I need synthetic fibers for the upgrade for the depth module, which I don't have the recipe for, and I, for the life of me, again, cannot remember how to make them. Oh wait, doesn't it require, like, polyaniline or something? Or is that the re regular Subnautica? Oh, I can't remember. I'm playing both in tandem as well, I'm also streaming Subnautica with only a sea glide, so I'm... Um, I'm trying to remember if the recipe is... I'm just going to go and make some random stuff and hope that a new recipe appears, honestly, because that's the only plan I've got. Alright. Okay. Fred, hi. I implore you to investigate. Yeah, Alan. Will this help us build your body? Absolutely. I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Signal location uploaded to PVA. You know, Alan, I trust you. If you think it's important for us to go there, we'll go there. Uh, actually, I do need some titanium because I need to build exterior grow pot and another interior one. Uh, interior grow. Let's do the basic. Got some chic out, let's go for the basic. 
because I picked up da -da -da. so no that is not what I want to do but why are you here storage how have you never played this one before it's very good it is it's very good there will be spoilers in this then if you've not played it but it is utterly fantastic this one You're growing, I can chuck you guys away really when you're crowding up my inventory. Uh, drop, 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 drop. And we're going to put an exterior grow bit down here. Grow me some nice, delicious plants. Yep. Yeah. The grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. I'm not a fan of how you said the word scurvy there, but okay. Yeah. Is it really one to one? Do I not, can I not grow these anymore? That is. Oh, I really thought I could. Uh, I can't say I like any one more than the other. The. This one has a story. That there is a story. You get to meet an architect. You give like little missions and stuff. There is a lot to this that the first one just did not have. And it is super fun to play. The first one does give me like nostalgia vibes though. So it's also... They're both great in their own way. I don't think either one I could really say is better or worse than the other. I think it's simply a case of both are fantastic. And I just think that maybe... If I had to choose one, I'd probably say... I like this one more. It doesn't give me the same nostalgic feeling that I got from the original Subnautica, but it is... There's more to do... It's less... It's weirdly less janky than the original, which is impressive. And it's just, it's just really fun. So I'd probably vote for this one, to be honest, which feels a bit doesn't feel right saying it but it is yeah I do actually think this one might be ever so slightly better okay we're fully charged I've got some food on me I need to go hunt some okay course of action going to do some hunting because I need some bladderfish because I still can't build a water filtration unit. Next step is probably going to be water filtration unit so I don't, you know, die from lack of water because that would be just embarrassing in this game. Come here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Thank you. Uh, then we're going to go find Alan's thing and figure out how the hell I build synthetic fibers. So I got a bit of a game plan, which is good for me, honestly. Although these bladderfish are apparently going extinct, which is really not useful. Come here. Thank you. Rude. All right, this should be enough. Then I can have a look at how we make uh, synthetic fibers. I want to say it is polyaniline. I think it is. And I don't remember the recipe to that in this game. Uh, I'm actually quite early on in the game. I have only got to... I only found Alan in the last episode. This is the third stream, so maybe six... No? Four hours in? No. Three hours and 40 minutes, I should think, is what it said on my uh, load. About 3.40, so not very far in at all. It's not a massive game, but there is a lot more to go. There's a, I'm only, I've only seen maybe three or four biomes. There's a ton more to do. So I'm very excited to see how that all goes. Oh, here we go. So to get polyaniline hydrochloric acid, to get that, I need the young cotton anemone. 
which I unfortunately, annoyingly enough, think was back where I was. Oh, and probably I need a Kyolite for that. Need to get the grappling arm so badly, and need the synthetic fibers. Okay. What was that noise? That didn't sound good. Hmm. Anyway, I think. I want to know why you can't get more of your Monoid. I, I built that entire thing to get more gel sacks. Um, yeah. Crap, does my title still say episode 2? Yeah, that's 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 probably a me bad. I may not have updated the title. It had some issues with my audio, so yeah, it's pretty, it probably says episode 2 still. But it's not, it's episode 3. So yeah, that's just me not paying attention to that, unfortunately. I don't think I can change it part way through either. Yeah. Probably not. I'll make sure I correct that for the next one. And when it gets uploaded to YouTube, it'll hopefully say the right date and the right episode on it. But as if I remember, I have an absolutely atrocious memory, hence why I can't remember where anything is in this game. Because I completely. You know what? I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to go and get myself. I'm going to make a beacon. And that way I'll know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Can I have some craft beacons yet? God, I hope so. Okay, what do I need for a beacon? Oh my god, I can't even make a beacon yet. Oh no, I can. Copper all titanium. Got it. Thank god that would have been embarrassing if I couldn't even make one. Alright. So. Copper, copper titanium. Make a beacon. Put it in the bit where we need to go to go below the thing. Yeah, I, that's a good idea. I should do that. Let's go make more beacons. I should definitely make some more beacons. Because I always go out exploring and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I should definitely come back here again and then I forget where it is. And I'll just be like, oh, okay. I guess I'm never going back there again. Unless I accidentally find it, which honestly doesn't happen often. That's probably why I enjoy playing these games so much. I have no sense of direction, so I don't know where I'm going about 90% of the game. Which honestly just makes exploration much more fun. Okay, so. I really, really, really want that. This way, I want that young cotton anemone, which I believe is below the lily pad place I just was. So we're going to go ahead and go straight back there. And fingers crossed, I find the entrance to the under area. Which I think is there. Not a thousand percent sure, but we'll see. Got to go through this whole mess of things again. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, just back at the ridge. God, it's so loud. Things scream. Come on. And for me, there we go. Oh god, I cannot wait for that grappling arm. Honestly. You know, I think the worst thing about playing this game with headphones on is I heard 
this guy, whose name I've forgotten, just swim right behind me, and it felt like he was doing it in real life, and I did not need that. At all. Alright, down we go. deep as I can until I hit the crush depth of this guy and then I will swim down further and see what happens. Uh... Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oh, high capacity tank increased. fragment. Yeah, just one more of those and I'm done. Did you just steal my... Do you want to give it to me? Oh, I love you so much. Ah, that was so sweet. I'm sorry, I did not mean to run into you. I just, you, you know, you were in my way. But thank you so much. That was really sweet. down? No, it's just taking me back to the... Whatchamacallit, I was in the... Um, the Mercury. It's taking me over there, which is good, but it's not where I need to be right now. Doesn't seem to be a way down here. Maybe I'm just in the wrong area. Oh, hang on, what's this? Ah, oh. With the construction of a new storage medium. Okay, sure, Alan. You must continue to investigate. I, I was planning on it, but also... Oh, this, oh god, this is going to be hell to get back up without the grapple arm. God, needs must. Okay, um... Now this is definitely the right area, but... Okay, I might have to land on these... I might have to land here and just swim down. I'm not seeing any of the landable platforms. Maybe that one over there? I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if I can sit on this rock. Oh, this is so precarious. If this falls, I drown. You know what? Just gonna stick it up here where I know it's stable and swim down myself. I'm gonna have to use all these to get me back up. Okay. I have no intention of killing any leviathans, not because I don't think I can, but because I am absolutely terrified of them, and honestly not very good at this game. I love it, and love Subnautica, but damn, I'm just bad. A body component is near. Oh shit, I can be benzene now. Dope. Okay. The question is, am I going to make it down and back up again before drowning? I think these are what I need. Got him. Back up we go. And now we see if I... Ah, I should be fine. I got 60 seconds. It's only 100 meters away. I'll be good. I'll make it. I'm coming, Fred. I'll be there in a second. Almost there, Fred. Warning. I killed, what do you call them, the, uh, the juvenile ghost leviathan in the Lost River. K 
killed him during one of my regular Subnautica playthroughs. And there was... Who's the other one I killed? Oh, uh, the, the Reaper Leviathan that is right at the front of the Aurora. I uh, killed one of that one as well. But it is not something I enjoy doing too much. Mostly just because, you know, they're, 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 they're scary. They're, they're leviathans. They're supposed to be mildly traumatizing. And I honestly haven't gotten over my first ever time playing through the game. Okay, so I need to drop a beacon here. Because thank you for reminding me. I have those. Uh, so we're going to get one out. Beacon there. Five. Drop. And down for cotton. Because I think that's quite amusing to put. So. So I've, done, I've done a bit of Leviathan murdering. But it's definitely not something I enjoy doing. The first time I ever played the game, I went with the sea glide to uh, the Aurora and I went the back way. After it exploded I went up to the back and I, I was obviously just thinking, you know, the back is, you know, like the base would be if it was on the ground so maybe there's like a, a service entrance or something that I could use considering it blew up. I was like maybe, you know, the, the explosion would be in the fuel that's at the bottom at the back. You know, in my mind that made perfect sense. Um, obviously didn't realise that there are giant leviathans in the game at that point. Um, so I immediately swam up, went around the back and went, oh, there's nothing here. Turned around and there was a Reaper Leviathan taking up about 80% of my screen with just its face and its, you know, delightful jaws. Um, and I have not screamed like that since I was a child. Like, in, in all seriousness, I was horrified. I don't know anyone who hasn't, and I watched, like, um, you know, back when it came out, I watched people like Markiplier play it, and, um, oh, what's it called, like, Jack Jacksepticeye, like, some really big popular YouTubers at the time, I watched them all play it, and they had the same reaction, and I have never felt more, like, in touch with another person who I've never met before, and I was like, you experienced the same horror that I did, and I appreciate that, and it was so funny to watch them, because I was like, yeah, I know how that feels. It was absolutely traumatic. And genuinely still, uh, to this day, I've not been around the back of the Aurora. I know what's back there now. I know, you know, you get a prawn suit and a knife and you're good, you, like you can kill them. But just the fact that I, that is the area and I know the exact spot that I was in, I just, I can't go back. It's just, it's full on horror to ever kind of go there again so I, I show that leviathan some respect now and i leave him be it was my first experience of death and i was i'm okay with that oh i know I'm, let me get home first i feel like everybody has made the same reaper mistake I haven't seen the leviathans of this game yet. Welcome aboard, Captain. And I'm not looking forward to doing so. Because I, I know the, the two kind of main leviathans in this game. Um, and I pass an area that one lives pretty much every single time I go out exploring. And I just don't need that in my life. Vital signs stabilizing. Um, I used, uh, well, it depends. Sometimes, the first one I think was Prawn Suit Drill Arm. Simple, you sit there and jab it to death <laughs> until it dies. Um, but for one of the Reapers, I wanted to get a bit more creative. So I used the Stasis Rifle and the Thermo Blade. I uh, kept freezing it in space, going and doing a few stabs, hopping back in to my Prawn Suit and then getting out again and just kind of repeated the process until it died. It took way too long and I would not waste that much time doing it again, but it was fun. 
That's definitely interesting to do it that way. What about you? How how have you murdered Leviathans in the past? Oh, fun. Two flowering spot. Well, shit, I picked up one. Uh, salt deposit. Okay. Salt, salt, salt. Salt. Come on, give me a little bit of salt. Just a tickle, just a tiny bit of salt, come on. Yeah, can't use a sea glide, but hey ho, might as well get the fragment. Come on, where is... Yep, grapple Leviathan, stab it with a drill arm. It is definitely the safest option if you really want to just murder the thing as soon as possible. And it's pretty fun to be honest, riding Leviathans. It's, it's... Especially the uh, sea uh, dragon. That one's quite fun to just sort of grapple and ride on. I'm doing really bad for the salt. Where salt? Hello? No? Um I'll grab the quartz anyway, might as well. Where is literally any salt? Okay. Alright, well I guess I'll go to a different area to find my salt. God I hate how slow I swim in this. Alright Fred, I'm taking you out. Going salt hunting. You know, I've never tried doing... Um, I couldn't ever find a reason to use uh, like the torpedoes in the Seamoth because I just found them so... I don't know, kind of pointless. Like, I, this, this game is obviously not a fighting game. You're not really supposed to kill things. You are supposed to kind of run away, use the... Um, decoys and stuff to get away like that's that's what the game intends for you to do but then you get like the the vortex ones and the gas pods and then you can fire missiles and i'm like i okay but no i just never bothered just knowing how incredibly flimsy the bloody sea moth was it you can just get one hit like i'm not taking that risk not with a Reaper Leviathan. I've been eaten before and I don't wish for it to happen again. I forget how much you can fly on land. Damn. Come on, give me some salt. Just a little piece. I literally need a single piece of salt. Why is this taking so long? There we go. Finally. Salt. Might as well collect some more while I'm out here. Oh, apparently I'm finding a lot of quartz, not a lot of salt. Quartz, quartz. Ah, salt. Give me the salt. Give me the salt. Salt. Here. Go. Come on. Thank you. Where am I going? Now, that is something I did not know. Gas for to get for the gas supports, not torpedoes. All you need to do is stay so sorry for that and drop half an inventory of them back up and the Leviathan dies. I have never once used that particular method of murdering a Leviathan. Maybe I will. I mean, I'm playing through Subnautica, regular Subnautica. Oh, this is that post I've already been to. Okay. 
Uh, I'm playing replaying through a regular Subnautica again, so maybe I'll do that like when I get to the end of the game. Just go around and like the last thing I do is just murder a Reaper before escaping the planet. That could be fun. Yeah, I've never tried that before. I honestly had no idea that was even a thing you could do. I knew you could pick them up and, you know, but I didn't realise you could just drop them in front of it and have it die. That's really cool. Yeah, I imagine it takes a bit of a while to gather that many gasopods, but yeah, no, that's a really efficient method of murder. <laughs> I like that. I've not actually seen anybody do that either. Like, of all the people I've watched play through Subnautica, I've never actually seen anybody murder them that way. That's very clever. I think that's enough salt. I'm just, just gathering salt for the sake of it now. I wonder if you damage a sea Yeah, okay, cool. Come on, come on. Yep. Our power. There we go. I wonder if I'll make the... I already have the jump jet upgrade. God, I really do need to get some better upgrades for this thing. Make me some chemicals. Did I forget something again? What have I forgotten this time? Oh, the salt's in the thing. Honestly. God, I do not come across as someone who is not an idiot. The salt is in the prawn suit. Oh no, it's in the... It kind of... It just, no, I just want to... Storage. Storage. There we go. I forgot I picked up the urinite as well. Don't... Okay. Yeah, that's true. If you miss with it... And I am horrific aiming in any game, let alone one where I'm also staring a Reaper Leviathan down. But I, st I still don't know how to make synthetic fibre. I still can't do it. I really thought that would be the way. Maybe it's not. Maybe... Maybe any benzene, do you think? So I know where to go to get benzene. Also, you last time I thought you I got a single there we go. Right, so I can still do that. Great. What about you? Can I boop, boop. Nice. Right, let's just plant you guys. Okay, we do be growing some plants, that's good. Maybe I do need benzene for the thing. I really don't want to go that way again. I've been there like multiple times now and I haven't been eaten, but I really do foresee being eaten alive coming soon. Now, I'm going to do a bit of the main mission. Maybe, maybe Alan is going to help me. Fast way to get seeds. You hit it twice, pick it up, put it back, hit it twice, can you show it's full? It's... Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I will give that a go, actually. Yeah, have, have these. So if I try this one... Okay, so the cotton anemone is... You can hit it. Let that one just immediately went. Some are two, some are three. Okay, so, and then I'm going to hit it again, pick it up, no, and then I'm going to hit it again, yeah. That still seems to work. Well, that one didn't because I misclicked, but nice. All right, no, it does seem to work in below zero, so thank you very much for that. That will make 
harvesting gel sacks a shit ton easier. Welcome so, aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, let me grab some of these. All these nuts. <laughs> and we're going to head over to the artifact architect. No, architect artifact. Because hey ho, dyslexia means I can't read. <laughs> right, where are we going this way? It's really close as well. I'm surprised it's so close. this a little oh wait a yeah 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 oh, I found this one earlier which means you are down in this hole okay down we get and down we go uh, yep, nothing on you Hey, little sea monkeys. Easy, you can just tap instead of full charging because by the time you tap, you just get full charge one. Ah! That's really useful to know as well. I didn't realize that about Stacy's rifle. Mostly because I, you know, realized how bad I was and just sort of stopped using it. But that's a really great tip, thank you. Tap and then do a full charge. That would make it much easier. Now where's my where's my little icon got? Where am I going? Hello? What's this room? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. How to get it? Don't try and steal my shit. There it is. Uh, 87 meters down there. Gotta go, gotta go deeper. What are you? Oh, this is a laser cutter fragment. It is, I really actually need one of these. And is that a little egg? Oh my god, it's a sea monkey egg. Okay, I know I just stole your child and I'm really sorry, but it's cute and I want one. This way. Ooh, there's another proportion candy thing. I'll be scanning you. Oh, I just scanned you. That's fine. Well, okay, gotta still gotta go deeper. Can't find the way down. God, these caves are so trippy. I have no idea where I'm going. Already been this way? Maybe? God, I genuinely have no idea. Oh god. Oh no, I'm stuck. Ah. Oh fine. Oh my god, that was horrifying. Such a loud noise. But, but what was the noise? Dear God, where am I going? So lost. Oh, was th was that you? You made the noise? I've literally. Oh shit, that was the explosion. <laughs> I've. Oh, you go away. I've just. I've never had it make that noise on streaming before, and it is so loud. I'm gonna have to turn that volume a hell of a lot down. Oh. oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I've literally never had that sound happen while I was actually streaming before, so I do appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for letting me know that I really, really, really need to turn that sound down. That was utterly terrifying. Uh, 
Hey, I did it. Finally. But also, still lost. New blueprint synthesized. No. Oh. Well, turns out you can punch it to death. Good to know. No, I'm not sure if I'm being dumb or if... Oh. No, maybe I'm not being dumb. I'm not sure if I'm being dumb or not. Now, see, I keep ending up in the exact same places. I don't think it's me. No, it's gotta be me. It's, it's gotta be me. Ooh, this looks deeper. Nah, but I think I'm still landing in the same place every time. This is what I meant originally when I said, not super good at this game, just really enjoy it. I'm fully, fully lost. Like, not like a little bit lost, I have genuinely no idea where I'm going. Could it maybe just not be in these caves? That doesn't make any sense. Why would it send me here if it wasn't in the caves? But I swear I've been through all the caves. Oh, God. I'm trying to get to this icon here. This architect artifact. There is something there that I need. And I have no idea how to get there. And I thought it was going to be this way. Let's remove our vehicle bay. Don't need that. But I'm, I'm slowly, seemingly noticing that maybe I am mistaken. And I might be just walking in circles, getting stuck on vines for literally no reason. Well, I found my way out, which was not intended. So I'm going to say this is a sign that I am being an idiot and going the wrong way. and get there from a different angle. Yeah, I'm going to check out... So if it's over here, maybe I'll walk a little bit further. What I did last time was I went directly above it and went straight down, but that just got me lost. Maybe there's another way. It's 150 meters down there. What if there's like a cave entrance over here or something? wall. Okay. That seems to not be the answer, which is fine. We learn by making mistakes, and that was one of them. So it's proper... Oh, hello. This goes deep. Maybe go down this way. Uh, no, this is just a hole. I definitely don't want to be in just a random hole. So that's a no. Uh, okay, let's try over here. It's got to be in one of these, these are like sea monkey caves. It's got to be in one of those. Let's try this entrance here. 
so it's 150 meters in that direction heading down. I mean, this is going the right direction, but this looks familiar. I feel like I did this exact way last time. Oh, no, I did not. I did not go this exact way last time. What you found is more than just an artifact. Ooh. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad I could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Nice. All right. I can I can get a quantum locker now? Hell Oh wait, wait, no, is that No, there's a blueprint I can get. Okay, I am checking out what the hell a quantum locker is. I don't even remember this. Laser cutter. Hundred percent gotta make that when we get back. A quantum solution which shares content with all other quantum lockers. That is by far the coolest addition to this game that I completely forgot existed. And I've got some ion cubes at home. So, yes, I'm going to make one of those. Nice. I remember actually uh, installing a mod for Subnautica that did basically the same thing. Which, I have to say, is probably where they got the idea. But that is going to be so handy. When I build like a, a second base anywhere on the planet, because at the moment I literally have the one base, but that is such a cool item to be able to like instantly have one chest that just shares everything it's so great uh, let's head this way see if we can get out can we head up please i would like to not be in a cave anymore I don't remember the name of the mod for Subnautica that it was, but there was one that did a lot of uh, quantum stuff. It used ion cubes to make, you know, better batteries and, and that kind of stuff. So it's really cool that the game actually put it in as a standard part of, you know, what you could get. Which also makes sense because this game has a lot more involvement of the alien race that built all the containment unit from the first one like there's a lot more of that in this game you get a lot more backstory and information and it's super useful and just really fun but they also put more technology in and it's very very cool so i'm super glad they did it really nice addition it makes the it makes it feel like a definite expansion of the first so it's not just like oh it's another random game it is it feels like a sequel because you've got everything and then some more oh hello uh, let's answer how do your people communicate if you are not networked what do you mean we just talk to each other do you not find that we exist as data we are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to yeah. life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone stream in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. That's such a lovely way to put it. You're a poet, Alan. You really are. Okay, so we are fully watered and hydrated. Really want to build a cool locker. Do I actually have enough? 
Do I actually have enough to build it? I might actually... Advanced wiring kit. Okay, how do I make an advanced wiring kit? Because I've got an iron cube and I can make it. Uh, computer chip. Ugh, table coral. Really? Fine. Let's go get some table coral. Oh, wait, I didn't even scan the Chinese potato. There we go. Let me, let me. Want to, want to, need to fix. There we go. So I don't think he's me alive. It's got to be fixed. All right. Off to get table coral. We go. I absolutely want one of those lockers. I currently have no use for it. But I 100% must have one. For no other reason than it is cool as hell and I need that in my life. Okay, okay, okay. Let me find some. You know, it's just easy to go a bit deeper. Mine's just going. Honestly, I always built in the Lost River in, at the end of, you know, Subnautica. Obviously, the tree cove. Uh, that has. That is by far my favorite place to build. Like, in every single Subnautica playthrough, I would always have exactly three bases in the exact same location and then just a few additional ones if I fancied. But there would always, always, always be a base in the grassy plateau. Then there would be another one. Well, there'd always be the original one back at, you know, safe shallows. Then it would always be one in the grassy plateau right next to the blood kelp zone. The little, like, trench that you could go down. And then one in the Lost River in the tree cove. Because they were the three best places to build with the easiest paths to where you need to get to. They were all really like aesthetically pleasing as well, and they had all the resources you needed between the three of them, for the most part. So I always built in the same places and I just fell in love with those areas. But once you actually get to the Lost River, some of the more common stuff, like Table Coral, becomes a nightmare. It's so frustrating having to swim all the way back out and get the Table Coral and swim all the way down just to realise you didn't bring quite enough, you only got five instead of six, and then you just get super aggressive and I hate that so much it's so frustrating it's actually quite difficult in this game as well because you can only get it here which is this part's called the twisty bridges for obvious reasons uh, and you can only get table call here and it's mostly by itself but you can occasionally find like clusters like this so usually I'll just harvest a ton of a cluster and then be like yeah we're done head home now we got a good amount of table coral. Let me find my thing. There it is. And head back. Ah, oh, see, that's weird. You built in exactly the opposite kind of ends of the map to me. I like the mushroom forest, but there was... I can't remember which mushroom forest it is, but there is one mushroom forest I think it's the one that comes off the bulb zone. In that particular forest, there is a chance that the Reaper Leviathan will wander in and swim around the mushroom forest. Um, and I had that happen to me once, and since then I've been terrified of building because I literally left my base in a seemingly safe location and a Reaper was just swimming on by my house. And I was like, nope, that's not for me. Shan't be doing that again. Uh, I like the Sea Treader path, but I always found that it didn't really have enough for me like it was pretty cute and, and fun but I was like eh it's not really everything that I kind of wanted uh, and I didn't like building that in the Grand Reef Lost River entrance I didn't like building in that one I just found it too dangerous so I always went with the other Blood Cup Zone one which was much much better at least in my opinion um 
Okay, so we oh, yeah, definitely need to get you as well. Iron cube, two titanium, and while I'm there, I might as well grab enough for uh, let's get crystalline sulfur, diamond battery, one titanium. The mushroom forest beside the dunes. That one, I think, was the one. Is that the one that has? Yeah, that's one with the massive, the massive, massive mushroom right in the middle, isn't it? That one is safe to build in. I remember that because I googled it. Because I was like, I'm not going in there without knowing exactly what's going to happen to me. So I googled that one and found out. But yeah, that one was fine. Balls, I forgot what I needed. This should be enough. Let's see what I can build with this. Uh, da -da. Yay, laser gutter. Alright, useful. And quantum locker. Dope. Oh yeah, the cuttlefish egg. Yeah, I always used to get the one from the Degassi base in the jelly shroom. And like just hatched that one and that was my uh, little pet. And the first time I did that, I I thought he got lost and I was genuinely like mortified. I thought I'd Oh, is it wait, is it inside or outside? seems to be an outside one. It is. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. So it's only small, but better than nothing. And that's going to show with every other one of those. Yes. Oh yeah, middle of end game and starter area. Yeah, it's true. It is. It is. I will say, I did like the aesthetics of the deep grand reef so the way it looked compared to some other areas like the blue floating balls that you know sort of grew from the base they were great i really enjoyed those i thought they looked like a lot more unique and interesting than some of the other areas so that was, they were nice i liked those Eesh. This does not look fun to eat. But I'm going it anyway. Still no idea how to make synthetic fiber. The only thing I can think is that it's benzene that I need for it. Because I really need to build this and this. This one's going to take a while, but I need to build this so I can go deeper. So I think it's, unfortunately, time to head back to the cotton, down for cotton marker. That's where I'm going. And hopefully this is slightly off off the angle to that one, so there is a small chance that we might run into the Leviathan. Which I am not excited about, at all. I just punched the mic, sorry about that. Yep, into the screaming we go. Is going to come yell at me again, or are you just going to leave me alone for a bit? That we good? Maybe they are in the jellyfish. Would you be go oh, wait, get Rude. Maybe they are in the big jellyfish things. Maybe that's why I'm having trouble. I've not been to that location yet. Oh, okay. There you are. We're gonna head this way. I don't. I don't need to wrestle with you yet. Yep. There's one of the other. That's with. Okay, he's gone. That's cool. Just gonna whoop, pretend that didn't happen. So if we're at the purple vents here. 
Where are the jellies? Ooh, we found more Mercury rocket, that's cool. Good to know where this is. Um, trying to remember... I'm trying to remember the map to this place in my head, which is clearly not working. Maybe they're this way. Maybe they're not this way. The other thing I'm slightly concerned about is uh, simply the fact that the, obviously, I mean, yeah, it, it is the, the giant jelly things. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, that is a, how do you pronounce it? Like, chillserate? Is that how we pronounce it? That is one there. That is, God, they look terrifying. I don't think I remember it being a very like it, it's definitely not in the center of a dead volcano but it's also it was it was a very nice area it was kind of lit up super bright all like there's a lot going on there so it, I don't feel like it's this way because this is all looking very dead you know, sparse reef kind of vibes. Honestly, I don't think anybody knows how to pronounce it. I've heard multiple different spellings, I just sort of... I go with like... Chilicerate? Or Chilcerate? Or something on those lines? Like... The ch part is the part that I know. I just gotta go with that. I mean, who's gonna correct me, really? I'm so worried about, like, jumping off the edge. Because if it's obviously the end of the map, then I can't get back up and I just die. But also, if it's more than 400 meters down, and there's no platform for me to land on, I also die. Ooh, finally. A bit of titanium. Should I? No. I'm going to save my storage space just in case there's something better. Okay, I can see a bit of ground down here. Chelicerate. Chil Chelicerate? Chelicerate is the only way that my brain is telling me that could be pronounced, so I'm going with Chelicerate. I may be wrong. Who knows? God, yeah, there is no way I can go down there. Damn it. something. Yeah, Chilicerate. That's what we'll go with. There we go. Even if it's not the correct spelling and pronunciation, who cares? That's what we've decided to call it. And I'm just going to say that we're right. Yeah, this seems very end of the mappy. Hell, oh, vent gardens, that's what they're called. Where on earth are they? Okay, so I'm again back near the Mercury, which is fun, but not where I'm supposed to be. That looks very uh, drop off and die. 
Does it? I can see fish and stuff though. Okay, you know what? I can see a bit of ground there. So I think I'll be able to survive if I land on this. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Okay, this is purple. Very pretty. Okay, these are those... Oh, hang on. Ah, <gasps> Wait. I think I found it. Oh, well, there's the massive chilocerate, so that's great. And these seem to be the, like, purple tree things. And then a massive vent garden. Perfect. And I love that for you, but I need to make sure that I don't die when I jump down, so... I'm gonna head over here. Okay, I think if I'm... A, I think I should be able to get in from here and not immediately die. Oh. Let's be able to go. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, no, oxygen I'm like 370 down. I am not going to survive for long without oxygen. Ready? 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 Come on. Okay, well, I've just wasted like 20 seconds of oxygen. There's no way I'm going to make it there, am I? Hello, let me help, please. Fred. I'm coming, Fred. Shit, that's going to be so much harder without the sea glide. Okay, maybe there's one slightly shallower that I can find and bring the prawn on there, because surely this is not the only one of these things. If I remember, which I don't actually remember at all, or maybe I can get... Do you think down there is... Damn it. Okay. All right. So I am literally as low as I can go. I just need to hope that Fred doesn't fall. God, Fred, please, Jesus, do not fall down. No, don't. I've just got to hope I can get straight through it up. And I need... Is it one of these? It's the one. And now i just got to see if I can get out and not... Thank you so much for the help there. And let's hope that I don't immediately die now. Fred. I'm coming, Fred. Okay, so now I know how to craft it at least. I can have a quick check, see how many of these I need. Wait, can I grow one, do we think? Hmm, all right. No, it's a clipping, so I don't think I can grow it. And I need just one. Definitely going to need more than one synthetic fiber for this. Right, I'm going to see if there's one slightly shallower. Because if so, I can leave a beacon at it. And we can maybe use that one as my go-to. If there isn't... I'm going to make the depth upgrade module. And then we're going to leave a beacon. I should definitely have left a beacon there now. So let's go over here and leave a beacon up here. Alright. Uh, Journey events. Oh, that was the wrong button. Nope. Oh, damn it. Put the beacon down. That was not what I'm supposed to do. 
one south of that one. Good to know. I should probably... <laughs> Wait, did I just pick up the jelly vents one? Damn it. I am super useless. Jelly vent. Okay, still got a beacon. Jelly vent beacon is up. And I wish I, I really should make a compass. I don't know what I'm doing not making one. It's a very stupid thing for me to not make. But I'll make one. And at least now we know where we're supposed to be going when we, you know, actually play this game like competent people. Oh, hey! Well, this one is uh, a little bit easier to get to, so while let's see if I can land right here. Well, that was terrifying. But sir, can you just just not? Like, you can't get in, can you? You know, I'm just gonna... just We're just gonna save Skull quickly. Because I am... That kind of guy. Yeah. And I'm gonna go back in, get some more cuttings, and then... Hope... To heaven that that thing can't get in here. Right, come on, let me get some more... No idea what I'm gonna need out of this. Good. Okay. You know, now I've got it. I don't want to go out. I want to stay in here where it's safe. Hello. But I keep. I'm getting flashbacks to like the Reaper just being behind me and the utter terror. Um, unfortunately, I don't quite think they fixed that. There you are. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they actually fully fixed it. Um, I think they can see. The spawning still does happen. I don't think it's as bad. But, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna head home. Uh, we now know at least where these vent gardens are, which is cool. And we've had some fun times with some leviathans. Because that is what I love to spend my time doing. Trying not to be eaten alive. Oh, look at him go. Detecting stern of an astronomical soul trans vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. We already found this. Oh, is this the other bit? Oh, this is the other bit. Okay. Okay, we've got some of those guys. Squid sharks. I think we're safe from Chili Boy. But I'm also not going to hold myself to that because, you know, I feel like maybe I'm wrong. That is a fantastic reminder. Thank you very much. I 100% need to make some more beacons. Okay. So you're down there. I'm going to leave another beacon here. Just to mark this. Because I feel like this is probably important. That is not how you spell Mercury at all. That is Mercury. I'm panicking for no reason. So I'm just going to call it Spaceship. I completely forgot how to spell the word Mercury, which is horrendously embarrassing. But I think spaceship. Spaceship tells you what I need to know. And I need to head back. I can finally make some bloody synthetic fibers. Thank you very much for the tip there. And um, I've got some more places to explore, which is fantastic. 
I'm definitely going to make those beacons. Ooh. Sorry about that, Featherfish. I did not mean to bludgeon you to death with my face. But I hate this area so much. It's just so dark and... Ugh. doesn't look terrifying at all. Oh, crap, that power again. That is a very good point. I completely forgot about the oxygen tank trick. Yeah, I think it's probably been about maybe like a year and a half, maybe even two years since I actually played Subnautica. This is my first playthrough in such a long time. Both this and Below Zero, Below Zero and, you know, the original. And I completely forgot, of course, you can just swap out oxygen tanks. I also know that there's a, a high capacity one that I don't have yet. Like an ultra high capacity one in this game that I thousand percent need to get as soon as possible. It's gonna well, really help. Captain. And I know that you can find that one in the what do you call it? It's the uh, sea monkey caves that we were in. You can find it in there but there's gotta be somewhere else you can get it that's easier. Um, so what did I need for that? Ruby. Ah, thankfully I went rupee collecting at some point. Lord knows when or where, but... Oh, shit, I can plant them. Ah, there we go. Oh my god, you did a swim-only playthrough? Why torment yourself like that? That sounds horrific. Like, definitely possible. But just so unpleasant. It must have taken absolutely ages to get anywhere. Two more rubies and an animal glass. I think. Two rubies and animal glass. Finally. We got an upgrade. Yes. Did you, um like record your sea glide and swim only playthroughs or do you just do it for yourself that's it kind of gets to a point doesn't it where you've done so many playthroughs of the same thing you're like how do i make this interesting for me again after spending so long on the same thing i i've got um i'm currently working on editing a uh, skyrim playthrough Oh, just for fun's good as well. Yeah, I, I've done so many random things on games like this just for fun to, to see what would happen. It's just such a great use of time. Like, it's so fun to randomly see what you can do or maybe what you can't do or shouldn't do. Uh, but I just finished a... Oh, God, I've only got, like, one power because it's night time. Um, I just finished a Skyrim playthrough using only Conjuration because it's, like, the worst, like thing you could possibly play as but it's also like super fun um, and I had a mod that I used for it as well so that was that was a really fun playthrough especially towards the end and it's just because you know you play a game so many times you're like how can I make it super fun next time I'm gonna build another one of you because I need a bit more power apparently I'm using way too much but hey, it's fine. We're using solar power. We are good for the environment. Nice that it's given us some good power now. Uh, Fred, Fred, damn it, Fred. I need your storage, Fred. Damn it, Fred, come on. Work with me here, Fred. Let me in. 
Thanks, dude. Okay. Me. Oh, shit. No, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Can't repair things by hitting them. Who would have thought? Uh, root postule. I will store you just in case. Hope I never need it. Okay, got a bit of food. I have no water yet again. That was what I needed to do. Water filtration. Titanium copper wire and aerogel. Please don't tell me I'm out of copper. Oh, I'm so close to being out of copper. And aerogel was, I think, the same ruby and gel sack, if I remember correctly. Took my brain far too long to figure out what I was doing. Okay, so aerogel. Hell's yes. <laughs> your I can't believe your name was Fred. That was that's hilarious. Well, he, there's only a few people here, so and I pretty much am talking to you whenever I say Fred. But <laughs> I'm glad that my delightful little prawn suit here when you used to have the same name. <laughs> uh, right, so what was I even doing? That was it. Can I build one here, do you think? That would be a no. No, fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I need enough titanium to do a multi-purpose room. There we go. Now I'm going to slap you on the end here. Just uh... Do you not want to, like... Sure, we'll do it there. Smack you there. I do want to make some large rooms eventually, but I'm not quite ready for it yet. I don't really need something that big just yet. Oh, perfect. Just an elf ship. Okay. Maybe not perfect, but it'll do. Although, I do think I might now need... Uh, reinforcement. Reinforcement. Go lithium through titanium. Right, let's do... Water filtration first. Partly. That was what I was afraid of. I don't have enough titanium and I am 100% not risking it. Ah, uh, it wasn't even there because the dock was there. That's... That is... Much... You are much smarter than I am. Well, it can go on the side. I think it looks absolutely great there. The one time I don't want copper and I just want titanium. Just the well, I'm just... Gimme, gimme, gimme. See, I should have got that titanium when I was over there. But I saved my storage space for nothing. <laughs> I do not play this game efficiently whatsoever. It's just so fun to do random stuff and explore. I can't help it. Right, we got the titanium that I needed. I can build reinforcement and pop in my delightful water filtration system so maybe I can drink something. Weird, but fine. All right, and da -da -da. oh, I really didn't even need to build that. Oh well, we did, and we finally have some more torturation going on. I that uses so much power, though. I'm so worried that it's just gonna like fully drain those 
batteries into nothing. But that is a later Sam's problem. So right now I'm thirsty. Both IRL and in-game. So let's have a drink. And let's go store the rest of the random stuff I've got. I actually quite like... I'm a bit of a monochrome kind of person in terms of like colour scheme. So even though I can change the bronze suit, I never really found a colour that I liked. Like I think they're okay, but I you know I like blue as a colour. But obviously if I go for like a really nice blue, it's gonna get like lost in the water. I say that like I can see it anyway. I'm absolutely blind, so maybe I will change it. I do like blue. Blue is definitely my favourite colour. We look a nice. Almost like a vibrant cobalt, maybe go for that one. What colour would a good strip be? Maybe just like a really dark blue for the strip? Like a purple? No, I'm not really a fan of the ready purple pink colours. Green, maybe let's go for like a nice aquamarine. Interior, let's set to... Ooh. I can't lie, I do like that black interior. It gets rid of that ugly yellow handle. Ah, right, there we go. Blue Fred. Great, so, food. I am hungry as hell. A couple more of those. There. Thank you. And I'm going to wait for this over on Getty Water, which is so slow. Right, let's go catch a couple of bladderfish. And we'll take it from there. Uh, then what is next on the agenda? Uh, I guess figuring out what else I needed those synthetic fibres for. Was it... I think I might have got the still suit. I was looking at possibly making just to help with my water when I'm out and about. I completely forgot there is another recipe for water, isn't there? Am I just being dumb and forgetting what that one is again? I know in um, Subnautica it's a table coral. No. Uh, the coral tubes you can use. I wonder if there's one of those in this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Who knows? I'm also in the wrong place. Alright. I almost cooked it then. That'd have been a stupid idea. drink. Yeah, that'll suffice. Okay, I still don't have the high capacity, the ultra high capacity tank, which is frustrating. Oh, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Since I got the upgrade, it's time to head to the down for cotton area. I'm gonna head down there. I wish those explosions would stop happening. I did. There's definitely like a heat vent, but it sounds utterly terrifying. Alright, Fred. And we are heading for Down for Cotton. And we're going to nip down there. And hopefully, maybe find something like titanium or copper or something to mine, get some items, do a bit of mining, do a bit of resource gathering. I'm gonna head back and create the oxygen tank that you so <laughs> graciously reminded me of. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm gonna go make that now. So 
So first things first, oxygen tank. Then we're going to go to the, the new deeper areas that we can access. Uh, okay, what is... Let me find out the recipe. I don't know why you went... I, I could have looked up a PDA. Oh well. Okay, two titanium and fibre mesh, and same with glass, titanium, and silver ore. So I am going to need a bit of fibre mesh and also some titanium. Let's go grab some fibre mesh and then I'll go hunting for titanium. Thanks for the titanium. Oh, I might grab that quartz as well. Just while I'm here. There we go. Hello again. Copper's fine. Right, you can make the fab mesh immediately because that takes way too much space in your bag. Fab mesh. More titanium, a lot more titanium, silver ore, which I think I've got plenty of in the base. Just gotta get some more titanium and quartz when I see it. Ribbon plants. More ribbon plants. Damn, I regret not getting that titanium when I saw it. Hello? Any nodes around? Any nodes at all? Nope. Come on. There's a couple, that's nice. Five titanium, one silver, one glass, thank you very much. That is incredibly handy. And I also do remember I could pin these as well. Like the pin function is a thing that exists in this game. So like I could just pin it and be, you know, sometimes I do worry about myself. I play these games for so long that I cannot remember. It's lead, not what I was looking for, but hey, every little helps. Grab a bit of oxygen. Uh, we got. Seemingly, I just need a bit more quartz. Unless I have some quartz and I've preempted and done myself a favour. I do. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so I've got the quartz. Definitely got the silver. Shadow of titanium. Glass. Okay. If my wonky math is correct, I should have enough. Standard O2 tank. Glass and then high class CO2 tank. A high class CO2 tank. Fantastic. As well, I'm here. I'll see what I need to make a compass. Oh, copper wire and wiring kit. I should be able to do that now. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates. Bro, you shit me up. God. I'll help, but if you don't mind letting me answer first. Honestly. Oh, I had copper on me. Ah, either way. I think it was also a wiring kit and I didn't get enough for a wiring kit. I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, one more, one more silver and I'm good. Go. Oh, 
more silver, get rid of you guys. Nope, need the two silver. <laughs> okay. And then finally I'll have a compass, so I'll know... I won't know where I'm going, but at least I'll know what direction. I'm failing to know what direction I'm going in. Yeah, compass, okay. Great, so I've got some form of direction. And now it's time to hop back into Fred and we're going to head down. I think I've got... I'm going to get that filled up. There we go. Okay, both are filled. We're ready to go. Well, I feel like I might as well go to the artifact since it's, you know, only 800 meters in that direction. Makes sense to me. Also, I've been heading that direction every single time, so it might be nice to go just directly this way and see what's around. Maybe this will be leading me to a new area in which there will be some grapples for me to use. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where the hell that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be like down in these little gaps, but it's definitely could it be in the mine, maybe. I already scanned the thing from the mine. scan the thing from the mine too early. Let's find out where the mine is and go there. So in one of the last episodes I went to... Oh, don't need you anymore. Um, to mine. Uh, there's a mine over here and I went there last episode. Yeah, last episode. Um, and I scanned something in there. Maybe it's sending me back because I did it out of order. Either way, I think it's worth having a look and seeing. I could hear you swimming, but I couldn't see you. Here's my first little base. Oh, actually, this is a mine. There are, unsurprisingly enough, things to mine down here. So I guess I know what I'm down here doing. Time to do some digging. I do apologise for the noise and the tedium that will be me drilling for the next 10 minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, last little bit. Let's go. Come on. Nope, nope, we're not done yet. Right, nope, 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 nope. I want all of this, if you don't mind. Gimme. Alright, 
right, so that was well worth it just for the titanium. I might actually be over down in this mine. Alright, that's kind of cool, but also slightly annoying because I have already been down here. Since this is where you can first get your prawn suit, so I made it a 100% priority to get here as soon as I possibly could. Yeah, I'd already scanned this. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger. However, slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Uh, yeah, no, I, I was kind of planning on doing that already, but just not searching for this one because I already found it. But anyway, you brought it back to the mine, and uh, I might as well take advantage of the fact that I'm in a mine. So we go and do some mining. Righty ho. I also got some diamond, which is so much less rare in this game than it is in just a regular Subnautica. Thank you. I was like, why are we not getting any more diamond? Let's go. Yeah, that's probably okay for, for diamond. I want to make sure I get a good selection of things. I'm definitely going to use like titanium or wants lots. Sam wants a lot of titanium, thank you very much. Are you punching me? Get out of here. There you know ill will, but I will kill you if you decide to fight me. Oh, I did kill you. I feel kind of bad now. Sorry. Am I really out of storage space already? I feel like I've not got anything. That's because I haven't transferred this all over. Gonna keep going, get some more titanium. I guess this is the world's most valuable resource. And we also brought some backup power cells, so I'm fine to stay down here as long as I need. But I really hope I'm not gonna use 90% more battery just on drilling, because that would be horrendously dull. Uh, right, we've got more titanium, more diamond. What else? Have any copper down here? That would be so useful. I'm also going to grab a little bit of ruby. What are you? Gold? Yes, I will take the gold. Thank you. I don't think I have any of you left, so you're going to be useful. microphone keeps getting in the way of my keyboard, so I can't quite figure out where to place my finger. Oh, come on, drill faster. Let's go. Well, at least when I edit all these, I know I can just skip this and cut all these bits out. get back just make the storage upgrade for this thing. Okay, I'm gonna get 
get out, grab as much of this as I can, and then fill the rest up with uh, the copper that's here. I do like the addition of these like copper veins and things, like the veins you can find along the world. They do, they strike me as slightly more realistic in terms of what, how you would find kind of things like copper and lithium and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I think this might be the end of my even get its last bit and then we are done mining yep we are done mining okay it's big ruby down there but don't quite need a massive amount of ruby at the moment and I can always come back and mine more because there is plenty of stuff down here which is great steps. Oh wait, hang on. Guards. Ah, uh, full of stuff. No, it's alright. Whatever, we'll leave it. Uh, next step on my adventure is heading now to the cotton down bits. The one with the weird like cotton anemone things. And nip down there. see what's going on because that's the we've not been that deep yet we couldn't get all the way down because it was only 400 meters we could originally go so I'm gonna try and get down there damn it all right well we made it part of the way up and back up we go and I've got to remember to head back to base to deposit all my goodies as well as the ones in the back of my prawn suit because if I forget them I'm going to be super annoyed when I try to mine some more stuff there we go do you think the prawn suit jump upgrades stack because it would be really handy to have this be a bit better screaming it's so annoying Honestly, I think this is the loudest part of the whole game. Just because there are so many of them and they constantly scream for no reason. I know it's probably not where I'm going to find it, but I am praying that the goddamn grappling arm is somehow all the way down in the weird cotton place I'm heading to. Because damn, I need it. This takes so long to traverse anything. Yeah, I think it probably is in one of the sea monkey nests. Everything's in those damn sea monkey nests. They steal it all. 
Welcome aboard, I'm almost certain that's also where the high capacity oxygen tank is going to be as well. Because I found two bits of it in there already. Uh, do I need... I'm going to build myself a little locker while I'm here. Because I have a feeling that I've picked up a lot of stuff. And I'm going to need it. Let's grab all the storage stuff. Nice. All right, that is absolutely perfect. Huge nuts. There is a. There's not. Well, there is. There's this mineral detector, which is kind of like a scanner room, um, but you have to be around the area. Let me see if they actually have the scanner room. They do. They do have a scanner room, which I haven't built yet. They also have a control room, which I completely forgot about, and I don't need right now but I am also kind of interested to have. Should we build a scanner room? Although where I am is not really super well positioned. Well, actually, it might be okay for... Maybe I do a change of plan and I build a scanner room instead. And we're going to pin it like a not idiot person who knows how to play this game. Uh, table coral, check. And four more titanium. And do the evolve. Well, for the first time I actually decided to pin something properly, I didn't really need to. But it's fine. Uh, let me put the scanner room on this side. Scanner room, scanner room, scanner room. Be grateful to the right place. Car's taking a while to build. Come on, let's go. A scanner room will allow you to select the surrounding region for fragments and Brilliant idea, code. Thank you for that. Like lithium or copper or titanium if you need help finding it. For whatever reason. Okay, no need to be sassy. Some of us have problems. Alright. Honestly. I forget that you have to build cameras separately in this one, don't you? Which I think is just super this is, that's the bad part of this, is that you have to build your cameras separately. You can't, you don't just get two of them, which I used to love. So computer chip and magnetite. Did I... I think I might have picked up, I did have picked up a single piece of magnetite. That's brilliant. All right, computer chip is table coral gold and copper wire. Table coral. Oh crap! Warning. Emergency power only. I forgot about that. It's night time and I don't have a good power source. Oh well. Now, this is exactly why I built my first base directly next to this, in case I ever fucked up. I can always swim over here and be fine. Sometimes I worry myself. Oh, I did need two table cross samples. Come on, Sam. Stop being a moron. Warning. 
Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Yeah, I know, it's my fault. I tried to do too much at once at night time. Wasn't the smart move. Yeah, the water filtration unit is so beefy when it comes to power. But also super useful because I don't have to waste time hunting for fish. So I kinda kinda wanna keep it. And it's my fault if I hadn't have taken the water out to store for my journey, it would have been fine, it wouldn't have been doing anything. But I didn't, so my bad. Um Well, how do we build a bioreactor? Because I can always just throw some random plants in that I've grown into a bioreactor. Titanium wiring kits and lube. Okay. I actually think... Do I still have some lube from, like, way back when? Wiring kit easy enough. Again, we just pin things, Sam. And the lube that I... No, it's emergency nut supply. And here... No, okay. I didn't. Let's go grab some... of the thing. Creep vine cluster blobs. Seed oil? Seed oil, I think it's like creep vine seed oil. Grab some of that, make some lube, make a bioreactor, rub some random shit in it. It's a good idea. Is the gel sacs are the most energy efficient thing to grow? Honestly, it probably still is. I've added a lot to the game, but I've got plenty of them, so I'll, I'll make a new bed growing just gel sacks for bioreactor fuel. Very good idea. And while I'm out here, I'm going to scan this to get some extra titanium to build that grow bed with. Hey, power restored. Nice one. Power restored. All primary systems online. Mm, exterior grow bed. Gel sacks is definitely a good enough option. It's a lot easier when you know the hack. So thank you for that one. Uh, yeah, once once you kind of know what you're sort of needing them for, you know, I'm just get some oxygen before I drown. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember using them a lot when I was in, um, there was one playthrough I did where I didn't build in my usual places, and in that playthrough I think is the one that I used a bioreactor for most of my fuel needs, uh, and it lasts like absolutely ages. That's fair enough. Honestly, that is like the handiest tip anyone has ever given me. So like, thank you for that. Because I would have completely forgotten that that was a thing that you could do. Which I just did while hacking that one, but... <laughs> Still, super useful. So thank you so much. Thing. Pick up and then stub it, stub it, pick up. Bent. All right, there we go. Full. I'm also gonna grab a couple of these young cotton anemones and replace them with you because you're more useful. Because I actually don't know if there's any use for the cotton anemones, but we'll see. 
and I, oh, I need to make the, the lubricant and the, whatchamacallit, wiring kit. And then infinite power, yay. Lube check, wiring kit check, and we're also going to make another lube because I picked up two. Dope, let's go get building. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, Bioreactor. Let's hope this doesn't damage my base. No, we good. And we're going to use gel sex, and I'm also going to put these anemones and stuff in because why the hell not okay so we seem to be power positive I'm not scanning though so let's have a scan and see what happens okay it seems that with two solar panels and the bioreactor running um, power positive at the moment which is good, and that's still making water and stuff, so yeah, I think we're going to be okay. And I've found fragments already. Right, I guess we're going fragment hunting instead of doing everything else I need to do today. <laughs> This is a good way to get rid of all these fragments that I'm not using. Like the sea glide, so I can just grab some titanium off them. Super useful. And we got some more sea monkey caves. Come on, let me in. Thank you. If I can get ready to be. Oh my god, go away! Leave me alone, stop exploding on me. I'm just trying to find the pieces I need. I don't think I'm gonna do that in here. Let's head this way, maybe this will have some. Sea glide fragment. Let's grab this bad boy. Actually, whack all the titanium in the storage because why not? And the lubricant because again, why not? You guys look like you're in the creek pine forest, so we're gonna head to you guys next. You know, you're not wrong. It's definitely not best to move through the area with a prawn suit. My only concern is. If I'm going into these caves, I'm going to die. Really? Just three sea glide fragments next to each other. What are the chances of this happening? That's a graph trap, so very little to no chance is the answer to that question. Well, at least I've had a graph trap out of all this. True, I do have the second oxygen tank now. I do also get lost and die in caves pretty much every playthrough. Also, I'm really no I'm noticing how most of these are actually on the surface. Like, there's not really that many that are under the area that like, you know they're not in the caves and stuff, which is. Not ideal, because I'm slightly worried that maybe I've found most of the ones in the caves. And that's not a good sign. Yeah, 
Yeah, these are literally all just sea god fragments that are dotted around all over the place. There's a fragment down there, let's see what that is. There's a cutter. Go away. So annoying, honestly. No, oh, that's not a terrible idea. Although, unfortunately, these caves are horrific, and I am so bad with directions. I'm not like a little bit bad. I am painful. Okay, well, we didn't scan these last time, but I feel like we might as well, while we're here, get every single one. You stay in your... You are a bad person. Stop blowing me up. The, the sea monkey caves are really, really, really confusing. I've died in them so many times simply because of how horrendous my sense of direction is. But I might give it a go just because A, it's kind of entertaining to die and B uh, I feel like once, maybe if I leave it a couple of minutes it will scan a bit deeper down and then I can choose a pocket of like nice you know, uh, a good chunk of fragments and then I can head down there and have a look. Sea monkey caves. Just going to repair you just in case I forget to do that when I get back. I don't want to leave with a partly repaired machine. And we're going to dump in as many of these things as we can. Honestly, that was great just for the fucking titanium hole. That was really nice. Grab you guys. I'm just gonna go make a little bit of. Just gonna use up this last bit of food. Because I have no reason to keep them alive in my storage, which feels uncomfortably weird. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, so that's deep biome that's above so I think these guys are going to be my best bet for possibly but again they feel like they're not deep enough okay you definitely are That is down there. Yeah, I think this cave is a dead end cave. I don't think it goes any deeper. Okay, so if this area doesn't go any deeper, then you must be. There we go. Let's get a full tank of oxygen and we're going to head down again. But this time into this cave bit. Which is a fair point, I didn't bring a beacon with me. You know, I think it's probably worth the risk. It seems you've also found a secondary. No, I think this is the best entrance to go in. Oh. I think this is the exact same place I just was. Damn it!
because this is not the best entrance to go in. Okay, so we've got not seeing anything in there. Not seeing any. Ah, here we go. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah, I know. We die if we stay too long. I get it. Honestly, not having the Seagloid makes this so much more terrifying. Oxygen, and then hope that I can find my way out. Oh, well, I've at least found another bit of oxygen, so that's something. Keep me alive a little bit longer. Got another one, too. Super nice, because I am still unsure of where I'm supposed to be going. But I'm slowly getting higher, which is what I need. Honestly, thank God for those little oxygen plants. I'll be like absolutely dead if it wasn't for them. God. Oh, we're headed back to base. I really have no idea where on earth I'm going to get any of this stuff from. Oh, Pathfinder tool. That's not a terrible idea. There's a nice cluster of fragments over there. like random areas of fragments and honestly I also completely Welcome forgot I had captain. that second tank <laughs> oh, honestly it's like right there completely forgot about it now, energy seems to be doing okay Ooh, filtration complete I'm gonna grab those so I can have a drink noise um, Come on, Fred, we're going to go look for like a, a bit of a hot spot of fragments and go from there. there I'm gonna grab those they, yeah, yes they're on the surface but again this is actually four sea glide fragments this time the hell I enjoy how this is the kind of what the thing is called but like when the two bosses come at once but instead it's when four bloody 
sea glide fragments appear at once. That's what this is. Okay. So you guys look like you might be deep enough to be what I'm looking for. Damn it again, you're not. Bloody graph trap fragments. Another graph trap fragment. Ugh, oh, this is so frustrating. How am I not finding it? Fragments, the laser cutter down here. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. I mean, it's it's probing deep, which is not a sentence I thought I'd be saying on the internet, but it's just not picking up any of the fragments that I need. I'm genuinely wondering if I've like exhausted this area for... I will probably have so much titanium that I'll be set for days. Which, you know, I'm I'm good with that. Like, I'm okay with that. It is It will pick up these right here. Just gonna double check that now. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking like, this would have been a complete waste of time if it actually didn't show those as fragments, but it does. So that's good. But yeah, like we're in the, these kind of caves and stuff, and I'm reasonably deep in the caves, but I'm not seeing... Like, they're not coming up with any other sets of fragments. I genuinely think I might have scanned all the sea monkey nests. Which is not great. But we're going to have a little bit of a wander and have a look. If I can't find any more sea monkey nests that are unscanned, I might call this journey done and then go to the cotton area that I was going to go to originally and see what's down there because maybe there is something down there that you know is going to be useful. Who knows? Okay, well, this one definitely hasn't been scanned, which is a good sign. But it's not a good sign that it isn't coming up in the scanner. Maybe it was technically, like, a little bit too far down. Oh, yeah, because this is... It, okay, so it's not quite got to this level yet. We we learn in as we go. But let me get rid of this so it doesn't sh show up anyway. And also, I need probably need to put some stuff in storage. I do. Fucking hell. So much titanium. So this was the artifact that we found. So we know we're definitely, I think, at the deepest point now. So that is a good, good understanding of where we are. And of the fact that I can't get out of that particular bit. Now, was there another hole that we fell down? Get out of these. Thank you. I don't want to die down there. Um, okay. So, scanner, not quite this deep. But this seems to be as deep as this place goes. Okay, I think... I'm going to call it on the sea monkey hunt. And probably go to do the cotton stuff, I think. Maybe we'll go down there. 
because I really want to see what's down there because it's we're going to go to 700 meters which is so much lower than I've gone yet so I think that's going to be fun I wonder there would be something useful down there because I did get a mission from Marguerite but I feel like I'll do that in a bit she's not that important just yet alright you do some charging I need an entire inventory's worth of titanium I'm so happy. I've never had this much titanium stored in my life. It's fantastic. Yes. Perfection. And oh, I'm going to unpin my reactor. Don't need a grav trap right now. Just got to find that and those. We did see some sea monkey nests below the whatchamacallums lily pads. Below the lily pads, there were some sea monkey nests there. I think I'm going to turn the fragment tracker off. Not that I don't appreciate having it, but my god, it's so overwhelming to have on this screen. Let's see how far it. God, this is not the scanner room. The scanner room's this way. Alright, so we've got like over the here, which I think would be. Nope, I actually have no idea. No, right, fair enough. But it's getting like lithium and stuff and gel sacks, which means it's probably going all the way to the uh, lily pad area. So, I think we're good to head to Cotton Down. I've got enough stuff on me to be able to survive like a decently long journey down. A bit of water, some food, not a lot, but enough. Obviously, I can eat fish down there as well, so I'll be good. Alright, to cotton. Because I, I did see some sea monkey caves uh, with some. Because that's where I got my one of my fragments from. And I think it was the Pronsu thermal upgrade, so it's a decent level. You know, it's not like shit stuff. So hopefully, we'll be able to find some there. Hello, weird Mr. Doggy Paddle thing. I'm just not even sure what they're called. Quarter past eight. I was supposed to stop streaming, I think, about six. Well, that's what happens when you're having fun. But I think I'll probably head down to the cotton area that I'm going to get to and then probably call it for the night. I'm excited to see what's down here though, because I've only been down here like once or twice, even in previous playthroughs as well, so it should be good. I remember it being quite nice, like pleasant to look at.
I actually have bought this game pre like before it was ready so uh, early access right when it was announced and you could first buy it I bought it and I came here and they hadn't yet done this part of the map so like going down here it was just bare it was literally nothing down here no plants no nothing and it was just empty but I like spent ages down here just because I thought it's so cool that it's like underneath this whole area Oh yeah, no, I, I remember this. This was such a cool area. Ah, I love it. I really just gotta have some dinner, but I'm enjoying myself far too much. deep can I go? And more squid sharks, delightful. Leave the bee. So we found a uh, fun thing. It's called traps, how cute! Uh, Nicolò is a absolute yes. I think this is... Okay, I'm gonna get out, because I think I can... Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because this is a gorgeous place to end it. But thank you so much for watching. Code, thank you so much for the chat. You've been absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's uh, going to be me done for uh, the night. going to go have some dinner finally. Um, but yeah. Thanks, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for subscribing, and I will see everybody in the next video. Uh, this is going to be edited um, up in a whole kind of challenge run situation, and I'll be able to see everybody and, uh, you know, yeah, but thanks so much for watching, and I will uh, talk to you guys soon.